Iris. Mm. They made, um... They... They helped make Deus Ex. I think. I think Ion Storm and Idos had, like, a crossing over at some point. Yeah, we had a... And this is pre-Square Enix merger, too. Yeah. Which, like, I still think of that as kind of funky, because I think of, uh... I still think of Enix as their own entity, even though, like, Dragon Warrior is made by Square Enix these days. I don't know. Hello, it's Dragon Warrior Monsters. Numbin's here with me. I'm sorry. I'm Numbin. Great. That's Slow Nine. Bird Studio. Continue. Ah, birds. So, uh, we had a couple things happen last time. We finally created, uh, Liam, the Spot King. We also created Waluigi. We have the Waluigi. Because Is Rain... Is that a Rainbird? Yeah, well... Luigi was just not carrying their weight. Uh, so I had to it was, reform. It was really sad. So what we did is we took uh, the Funky Bird and combined the Funky Bird with Luigi to make uh, a Funky Luigi, or Waluigi, as it were. It's still a Rainhawk, though, right? Yes, this is just a Rainhawk, uh, which is necessary for... A later breeding chain. Rainhawk is actually used in a boss getting to a boss breeding chain. That's fine. Plus, we get a Rainhawk plus five. That should carry things. Uh, yeah, we, better. We, the right. same as our. It's the same as our Dragon Lord. Yeah, Lodo here same. is. Uh, but Lodo here has like you know 139,000 <laughs> experience over uh, of the hasty Waluigi. Waluigi very hasty. All right. Why do we eat cheater? Yeah. Well, first we have to go around town and see if anything's changed after we beat a cup. Sometimes that happens, so you have to... Oh, okay. You're a liar. Alright. You're, You're not aiming for S-Class. You're a liar. Oh, this is Egg. That's the Egg. That's the Egg Man. Yeah. Where's the Walrus? It's no, me. We didn't, are you the Walrus? I'm the Walrus! Oh. With the Krabby Hand. This is a, yeah, okay. Slime. I crushed. No! Oh, that's not. Yes, Slime is beaten by scissors. Okay, how about. Damn it! Hmm. This is a powerful foe. You know, rock, paper, scissors might not be a fair game when I choose, then the opponent chooses. Yeah. You just have to go on the honor system. I so think that also he cheats. Oh, yeah, we lose on ties, and I think we need to win five in a row again for this. I which, believe in which, our power. Which means we cheat. Could also, I don't know, use the power of saving state, but... If you've never made a save state, I would advise against it. But once you start using save states, you have to keep using them. Because if you ever accidentally load your state, um, your save, your SRAM that your save uh, game is on yeah. will become overwritten. <laughs> Let's... I know that's definitely happened to several of us in uh, yeah. in f the fiestas. It's cheap. Uh, mm -hmm. Fiesta. <sighs> okay. It's gotta be the slime. You know, people are trying to tell me that it's spring. Do you believe them? It's supposedly spring today. Uh, I'm I'm still waiting for the the bullshit last blizzard of the of the year. Yeah, I'm, I'm betting that's going to be the second week of April. Because I'm going to bet the first week of April we're going to get a big melt-off. 
And then the second week of April, it's going to dump another foot of snow on us. Mm. Okay. And one more? Nope. I'm going to cheat. I'm well willing to cheat against this foe. Well, we have Waluigi with us. All right. Go to one of my brothers. Something good will be waiting for you there. Alright, I think that means we go over to the arena one. Yeah, because it's the guy, it's the one in the arena. Yep. And Jin's basically live in Canada. Yeah. <laughs> the guy live in slightly worse Canada. And then we have Canada, slightly worse Canada, and worse Canada. It's the three Canadas you can live in in America. There's a couple of them, yeah. I'm, I'm happy with them. happy with the Canada I live in, called Minnesota. Yeah, that's Canada. <laughs> I live in slightly worse Canada. <laughs> Between us exists worst <laughs> Canada. <sighs> <sighs> I haven't watched these streams yet and insulted that all your monsters follow you around. <laughs> I love that, like, the Draco Lord is following me around. It's great. They have the have the final boss follow you around next to a king slime. Yep. And Waluigi. All right, so we're gonna go see what this. Uh... Oh. So it's a it's a, a really goof. We've unlocked a new uh, uh, area. Statue move. All right. Let us advance. So what is the plan for this stream? We need to level up um, our friend Waluigi, um, and I might turn our our friend Liam into a different slime. That's slime. That's basically our 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 plan for the stream today. Is Idaho really Canada? I don't know. I thought Idaho was dry Washington. Because they're on the other side of the mountain. Yeah, it's true. Oh, alright. Some damaged floors, that's nice. Some holes, that's nice. Are there enemies? Don't seem to be any. Oh god, press turn in Pokemon. Hmm. That would make... That would make... Um, ooh, we got candles. That would make... Crap, what is it called? It's not Ice Spikes. Priority Move Ice Type that they added in, like, black and white or something. <laughs> it's just it's just Quick Attack with Ice Type. Oh god, yeah, uh, Ice Shard, I think? It might be Ice Shards, god. but that would just be the best move, because, like, okay, you got your weakness! Press the attack! <laughs> All out attack! Well, I'm thinking of the... Persona Varida. Yeah. There's a couple different. Alright. Oh, that should check. How how big is this? Fifteen. Alright, we got a bit of a dive. I think I'm actually just out of items at the moment. That's fair, I need to pick him up. That is supposed to be a beholder saying. Yep. Or Medusa. Medusa I. They're really going after Waluigi. Yeah, I would really like Waluigi, Waluigi to not die here. <laughs> gain three levels, or whatever. It's a good place to be, is gain a billion levels. Uh, let's go ahead and... 
full heal the party here. Ooh. Ooh. A rock and a priest boy. Priest. I want to, I want to steal your, your, your monsters. All right, what do you got? What's today? Oh, I don't want to steal your monsters. What, you don't like Lipsy? Yeah, I don't care. And Skellerang? I kind of like that one. Evil Wand. Wow, not a level. So Rainhawk needed a hundred for level one, as we saw, so Rainhawk's gonna level really slowly. That's just a side effect of being Rainhawk. Ooh, a tax seed. Who gets that? Uh, that's a good question. Tech the seeds are weird in this game. Do they persist through breeding? They partially oh. do. Okay. I sort of They'd be worthless if they didn't if they didn't. Yeah, well they they you partially do. Down the turlet. Yeah, you get like partial stats on on bread uh, monsters. And then you also... Oh! That's a wing slime. And a fly slime. <laughs> kind of want that one. Well, we always desire the slime. Yeah. Oh, no! Yeah, it's getting... It's being okay, murdered. Okay, fine. I guess I'm not getting the slime. One damages. Yeah, we get all the moves every time... We level here. Ooh. We get a lot of MP here on our, our friend. Cover. Oddly enough, Waluigi is very defensively based. I don't think that's, like, correct for Waluigi, but... Well, it's... A Waluigi is very evasive. Right. It's All very... right angles. You can't tell which way it's going. Right. Like, it, it takes a lot of observation to be able to tell which way it, what Waluigi is going. That's what makes Waluigi powerful in the Mario Party. I was pretty excited seeing what a Wal Waluigi looks like in the new tennis. It's let's beautiful. Eat, let's eat an herb. Waluigi seems to be leveling faster than Luigi. Yeah, we're later in the game, so it is very helpful. It's a lot easier. We're at, like, a point where the game might expect you or, like, support you using a monster like this rather than us who just forced it and then, like, have yeah. these level 10 monsters forever. You can hate Waluigi all you like. Yeah, absolutely. We can, we're, we're all free here. We have no rules, no laws, no masters. Be the wild animal you have to be. Because that's what you are. That's what we all are. We're all just wing slimes in our own tailwinds. Tornado. Well, Waluigi is, is, my, is, is my favorite of the Vigis. Your favorite Pokemon? Yes, Waluigi is my favorite Pokemon. Okay. Well, that's good. That's a good choice, I think. My goodness. It's like number one. Number one, Waluigi. Number two, Cubone. <laughs> Cubone's really good, though. Okay. Can we kill the candles? No. <laughs> we, have to, we have to create that the wind slime dies. Yeah, I know, but... I kind of want the wing slime. Like I, I'm thinking about next time we see one, I'm just gonna target down the candles and then try to. Is yeah, this game command? Is this game like a mystery dungeon? Or is this a really empty design dungeon? This is like a mystery dungeon would be a, a good way of describing it. Yeah. Ooh, a mad a gopher. gopher. Mad gopher. Isn't uh? I remember Ooh. two being less mystery dungeony. Yeah, I think two had some like more. It's like, got like overworld maps. Well, it had more flavor for like more tile sets and things. Also, thank you for the sub, Funkmas. Yes, sub. But yeah, like each of these tile, like at this point, we kind of have seen all the tile sets. That. Uh... You got a bell and a leaf, yeah. and another way to go. I 
I know when we play 2, I'm gonna get, like, a million amount of ghost memories erupting in my brain. Yeah, that that's... Like, lit, like written into my DNA in neural paths. My yeah. RNA, yeah. Yes. I've got, I've got <laughs> Dragon Warrior Monsters 2 in my RNA. See, that's what where this is. This is, like, ingrained into me. My... Literally, the name I use is, is Slyo. Like, it literally could not be more ingrained into me. It's not possible, so... I'm glad Liam is doing good work. I'm thinking about turning Liam into a different slime. The slime must grow. Well, I have plans for a future slime that uh, Liam will turn into, but I don't have the ability to do that quite yet. We need a lava man. I was gonna make a, a mitochondria joke, but this, but it, it was just wasn't the right time for it. So I appreciate that. Y'all should go out and either play or look at an LP of Parasite Eve if you want to have a good time. Oof. If you want to learn about mitochondria. There's there's definitely a lot of learning going on there. Okay, I need to check if I have an apple when I get back to the tree. Hey, all, all good recipes start with an apple. Yeah, so I have a, a, a future recipe we're going to be doing, um, which we can't do quite yet. Uh, but I did create a, a Medusa Eye uh, for a future uh, combo. And part of that combo needs me to have another uh, gulpel. We need to gulpel. Actually, I'm not sure I could recommend playing Parasite Eve, because it's very bad, but <laughs> definitely look for an LP of it. Because <laughs> actually playing the damn thing is rather awful. Hmm. I'm gonna stay away from... Ooh, we're in a new floor. Okay, we have not seen this one. So we've seen a floor like this, which is the Team Rocket uh, dungeon zone, but welcome to the Team Rocket dungeon zone. So... We, we were in one of these earlier, uh, but this is a different one, so we have to kind of, like, figure out which of these goes where and how do we get to the hole. I like how your MP still regenerates even when you're doing the electric slide. Yes. This is going to bring us back. Yeah, so let's try this one. Oh! I got an encounter right before you transitioned, and you're facing a pumpkin medusa and a lantern thing. <sighs> Candle. That's fine. But yeah, so we need to make a gulpal, and then we need to do the gulpal thing where we make a gulpal into an andriel to, to make an adney. And then we combine adney with a uh, medusa eye, which will get us a, a specific type of monster. I like this because I like talking about my my old friend adney. Yeah. Uh, I forget what monster he was, though. Yeah, I, I can, well, I can't pause here to show you, but I can show you. Oh, okay, we know where we need to go. I mean, we know we the location of the hole. We have to get to the rightmost path. Oh my god, okay. So we need to continue getting on the rightmost path. Uh. <laughs> Which is also the leftmost path, but it's the path above whatever path yeah. we're on now. Okay. But no. Adney's power, uh from earlier in the run was the ability to kill a metal slime in one blow. Yeah, because uh, of the, uh... Adney is here, uh, the, yeah. the dad of, uh, Lodo, <laughs> Draco Lodo. Ha had a metal cut, right? No, just freaking enough attack power. Oh, okay. That's, like, a, that's to, a bit more. To kill a metal slime in a single killing blow. <laughs> <laughs> so. So now we take the Oh, now we're all facing the wrong direction. Uh, we're just, we're doing doing the moon slide. Yep. We're running out of wing slimes. You might have went d two down, a floor down too much. Yeah, I kind of wanted a wing slime because the queen wanted to see a wing slime, and the way the queen works is that she asks you to see a, a monster, and then like gives you a reward for it, and then asks you to see another monster. It's, equi it's the equivalent of those, uh, like, Persona 
social links that ask you to see specific mm-hmm. like or in Pokemon Black White, there's yes. the the heart scale lady wants to see Pokemon that know one of the TMs in your pocket. Yes. Oh, oh my god, a slab, a slab, it. slab it. Okay, do we want to catch a slab it? Should... Can we? Yeah, can... Alright, we just have to have everybody murder the Medusa Eye first. Like, I don't know if slab it's useful, but it's just cute. Yeah. But, you know? Look, that's a that, that's a good like way to catch things is based on how they look. So let's try pork chop. It's the slime with legs. Yep. Nineteen MP. Nope, ah, not to be. no. Perhaps we can see more slabbits in the future. I'm not gonna. Work. I'm not tempting fate and going left because that could turn into like a just a yeah, walk you onto a touch a tile. Yeah, yeah. You touch a tile. What a weird space to spawn in. Is in the f the corner. Yep. Um. Uh, hole. Yeah. These aren't major da uh, damage floors, but they're still damage floors. Yeah. I don't like them. It'd be weird to find a damage floor that you liked. That'd be somewhat telling of <laughs> <if> one's personality. <laughs> Are there damage floors I like? Hmm. That's a good question now. Oh, everybody's on basic attack. This is probably not great. Oh, well, everybody's still powerful, so that's fine. Is there kind of any kind of answer to damage chalice, or are they just kind of spike? Yeah, there's a there's a like a, a move that's like uh, safe walking over tiles. It's not. It's very conditional. Most damage floors aren't that bad. There's the one that is. Yeah, in the original Dragon Warrior, they were used as de facto level gates. Yeah, they, like the uh, the the Draco Lord's castle had them, basically to try to prevent you from like going in there at like low level and there were a lot of swamps in that game and like you had to go find uh, Erdrick's token in a swamp speaking of tokens yeah. hopefully that's a tiny metal and not just 230g yeah sounds like a stupid way to level gate look uh, Dragon Warrior is an incredibly formative game for the genre as a whole yeah, it's very... They had the simple solutions to honest problems. It's also, uh... 67. It's yeah. also ancient and kind of bad in a lot of ways. So, I... You can't, ever, yeah, you can't go home again. Like... Yeah. We've advanced as a species. I, I remember, uh... The excitement a, a, a friend of mine had, like calling me on the phone in the year 19, like, early, in, like, the mid-90s, like, I finally got enough gold to buy the copper sword. Uh, it, was just, it was just, like, I was so excited because, like, in Dragon Warrior 1 on the NES, and it's like, that's cool as hell. Now you can beat up on those, like, maybe you can go find one of those metal slimes and beat them. Because nobody beats the metal slimes, they just run away. I like Mimic Soul Spikes. That's a good damage floor that I like. Uh, Aria of Sorrow. Wait. Where you get paid by stepping in spikes. Yeah, and your armor affects how much spike damage you take. Yes. That's... The spikes are still bad. Oh, <laughs> it's yes. Just the Mimic makes them cool. I, oh, the mimic makes them cool. The fact that they damage you more based on your armor makes them weird. Yeah, it's because, like, it's a weird way to, I don't know. Yeah, Float works on damage <laughs> tiles in, in Final Fantasy V. Geomancy also does it. Yeah. Just having a Geomancer. If you're curious about Dragon Warrior, I recommend the Game Boy version. Yeah, that was my, like actual experience playing the game like a friend of mine had the the, the nes ti title and was really happy about it but i never played the nes title i played the game boy game after this 
I thought, like, oh, I really like Dragon Warrior monsters. Let's check out the games that this comes from. Okay, Spike. The Spike Breaker armor is pretty cool. Ooh, that's because you you break. That's another one of Soden's meaningless cool things. <laughs> it's really good because, like, your in your mind, it's it's like, ah, this is going to make you immune to it, right? Like, you're just gonna not touch the. No, you crush them. You crush this. You crush them. Was five? Did six have damage tiles? I think five might have been the last Final Fantasy with damage tiles. I think four had them too. Wind Beast. Imagine booting up FF16 in 12 years and uh, <laughs> just walking around in in your crystal zone and there's just spikes on the ground you have to walk through. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I don't care about potion. We got damage. Ooh, hold on. Uh... Yeah, I guess 14 does have lava and stuff in it. But... And Metal Gear Solid 4 had a microwave tunnel hallway, which I guess is a damage floor. Yeah, does it count as a damage floor if it's more of just a cinematic? No, <laughs> I don't think so. Did Seven? Seven has so many useless. Seven is the Soden of of a uh, Final Fantasy game. Oh my god. Chrono Cross with Poison Zone. Chrono Cross is a game I really enjoy and think I'd want to play again at some point. Hey, Oligi to nine. Oligi, it's it's a game that I like, but every time I think about playing it again, I come to my senses. Mm. Like, I just then I just look up its soundtrack on YouTube and we're cool. Yeah, I, the last time I played it was in the year 2010. I decided to to give it a replay, uh, and I enjoyed it a lot then. I I think my enjoyment of oh right I've healed us. My 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 big enjoyment of Chrono Cross comes from it having not played Chrono Trigger before it. That's it. Yeah, that's that's the that's that's the deadly secret. It's a fine, it's a fine. Uh, it, here's the bad damage floors, by the way. Yeah, they look are... like chips challenge floors, but they are <laughs> not. Uh... <laughs> oh god, they do. It's like frictionless ice puzzles. Gold and silver had those. Why not this game? Loon is playing through Chrono Cross and naming everyone Bruce. Ooh, that sounds good. How many people is Loon going to name Bruce? The 18 or so possible people? Well, there are... 47 characters in that game? Yeah, it's a little Though, ridiculous. in order to get them all, you have to do three play... I want to say three playthroughs. I think it's three. I know that... Well, well there, there's one point in the game where you have three... A mutually exclusive three choice when you're breaking into the mansion... You can either choose Guile, uh, like, there's, there's three ways in, and you only get one of the characters, so that's a, a certainty. But there's also, like, a, a number of characters that can't be gotten on the first playthrough, uh, or at least kept. Uh, well, you should need that. 45, okay, I'm glad that my, my number off the cuff was close. And, like, aren't in the intro cinematic the characters they show random? <laughs> like, like you have, like, there's, like, a flashback segment where, like, you're in the tower. Oh! Like, what characters are in your party during the flashback yeah. segment? I think that it might be random because I remember seeing the chef there and never... <laughs> and it seems very, uh... It seems very inappropriate. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe it was just the game doing that. A flashback is a flash forward in reverse. Yeah, it's it's like a flashback. And it, your third party member is random. If, yeah. if you 
if you were watching Lost as it aired, you you got hit by that, where it was the flashback that was not. It was one of my favorite moments in that show. You should... Loons should name one of the Bruce's Robert. Does anybody get my joke? Are there any Scottish people around? Could be. Uh, how many floors do I have left on this? Four. <laughs> exactly word number. But I I enjoyed the hell out of it. God, we missed the wing slime. We got too far. Yeah, we got too far. Now we're, we're, we're we got too many slabbits. Ooh, they know big trip. Oh, well, they got them legs. Yeah, look at them legs. Big trip legs. Good for kicking. They're also very quick. Yeah, well, we got them legs. Let's see if we just get a, a slab it by the numbers. If we find enough of them, one of them will be our friend, right? Yeah. yeah. Slime. Yeah, by being able to be tri to trip, the slime can be tripped. Yep. Not, it, a, not a weakness other slimes have. Right. If you knock over a normal slime, all you have done is rotate it. Like, yeah. no, nothing has changed. The slime is still there. <laughs> all slimes are gyroscopically stabilized yep. by being slimes. Wing slime avoided this problem. Like, wing slime cannot be tripped. But it did gain other... <laughs> ah, the slime rabbit. Did it place me... on some yeah, poison. Yeah, I wasn't saying... Oh, no. No, oh, no it, was just, it was just Waluigi and... Well, and uh, uh, like, stacking Waluigi and Draco Lord on top of each other. Looks like, like poison. poison. That's good. I love it. Like... Team poison. <laughs> Team look like poison. I think trying to pick a number one problem that's lost is <laughs> a heroic effort. Uh, heroic in the tr in in like the romantic way where it's inherently tragic. The twelve heroic deeds of yeah, in, I think in that way, in that there will be the twelve labors here. Yeah, like, okay, yeah, her, her, that's another way to describe it. Trying effort. to pick the number one problem is their Herculean effort. Like as your eleven, as your, ooh, as your thirteenth labor, Hercules, <laughs> you must find the one number one problem with the television series Lost. So Spot Spot King has learned the move imitate. Um, what's the risk of imitate? Well, it's it's a. Uh... I'm going to guess if King Slime is fast, the issue is you'll use it before anything has used anything. Yeah, I like being a ditto though. That's nice. Uh, what do I want? To, what would I want to remove though? Vivify can't be removed. Heal us can't be removed. Increase can't be removed, and I probably shouldn't remove heal all. That leaves yell help, mouth shut, stop spell, and sleep air, which is a lot of like this is my like Liam's. The idea behind Liam, the, the, the Spot King, is that if the party is at full health, you use these debilitators, sleep air, mm. stop spell, mouth shut, or increase. Uh, and then if the party is dying, you use the, the non-debilitators to keep thing, people standing. And I don't know where Imitate fits into that. It could get rid of Yell Help for that. Yeah, because Yell Help just misses a lot of the time anyways, the, doesn't it? So Yell Help is very strong when it works. Uh, so when, when you use Yell Help, you can get up to eight hits or something. But the thing is, Yell Help has a failure chance just on use, and then the number of uh, attacks is random, meaning that so it's, it's, it's an incredibly wide... Yeah, which really, that's basically what we're doing with Mimicry, right? Is, or Imitate, is replacing a high-variance move with a cheaper high-variance move. I think, I, I think I'm going to get rid of Yell Help because I think Imitate will be funnier. Yeah. That's it. 
If I was making a more, uh, like, perfect slime, uh, well, for one, th that you don't need to do anything. All slimes are perfect anyway. Number two, yeah. uh, like, oh, sorry. Uh, Wandering Master. I would probably keep Yell Help as a, a single offensive option. But having Mimicry is like having every offensive option. Alright, I want to do some theft. And hopefully this guy has monsters worth stealing. Yeah, that's the trick, is having monsters worth stealing. Can you come out of the poison, please? Thank you. <laughs> I don't know why you're walking over poison tiles. It's training. <laughs> Ooh, we got a metal slime and a bunch of... and some two dragons. Alright, I want to steal that metal slime. The thing is, metal slime knows, uh, like, random beatdown. Like, I forget the name yeah. of the... Oh, shit! Rip! Uh, or Liam will just kill the... That's fine. Might get a dragon. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna go for stealing this dragon. Okay, now this is a skill and a half. Focus! Pass your turn, double attack next. Ah. This is a, a very strong maneuver. Because, uh, yeah, for one, it just... It saves... Like, does it just make your next attack double, or does it save MP? Well, no, no, no. It, it, is, you, it is effectively you take two actions. Ah. You, you, this is a time walk, or more of a... Man, uh, Minamo, the the water. What was the water one? The land that. Uh, uh, school at Water's Edge. Yeah, this, right? yeah, the, yes. The, well, no, no, Untapped no. target legendary. No, program. no, 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 no. That's sorry. That's that's Minamo. That's uh. That, that's that's the one one from. I'm thinking the one from Zendikar. Not Time oh. Vault. Magosi. Thank you, Magosi. Yeah, time vault is the one, but yeah. So you're you're effectively giving up a turn for two turns. It's it's like yeah. The problem with focus is that the AI is bad at using focus. That's fair. You're right. The AI is bad at using focus. However, I am going to get rid of Drake slash and uh, keep focus. Heal becomes heal more. Blaze is air. Frigid air becomes ice air. Excellent. And sadly, we did not steal a dragon. That's all right, because my actual target in that fight was the metal slime, but we didn't get to steal the metal slime, so... You know what, you know what the funnest thing if Magosi the Water Veil was? What's that? Played in the same format as Vampire Hex Mage. <laughs> right, skip your turn, don't, and then your opponent <laughs> it's like, okay, uh, It's like, okay, uh, in step, tap my Magosi. Like, right. <clears throat> and then un I untap, play my other Swamp Hex Major Magosi. Whoops. Play Iron Star. The thing that most impressed me is that Magosi was like unbreakable. Like Time Vault is is a thing that every single time they eroded Time Vault, they found a like. First, it was uh, like just normal untapping the card. There was the Flame Fusillade Infinite with with a uh, Time Vault. There was the Is It uh, Trans Reliquat. I think that's what it was called. The Mizium Trans Reliquat, perhaps? Yeah, but it, it was... It was this, yeah. Uh, but it was this uh, artifact that let you copy an artifact so you could copy the Time Vault, but it copied it on tap so you could tap it to take your turn. So, like... But Magosi never broke. Yeah. Uh, I get... Eventually... All of the ways that involve, like, breaking it involve bad cards, and also you still have to skip your turn the one time. Yeah, and... Like, it... even if you're playing, like, Thrumming Bird. Yes. Like, that kind of... Ooh! Well, even then, it bounces, so you can't get multiple turns out of it. Right, The, it the, the, the only real way to get double turns out of it would be uh, a way to double triggered effects, which there's one of, I can... Th or, sorry, like activated ring effects. Like, of, Rings of Bright Earth... Um, that or Stryonic, the 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 the, the, the... Stryonic resonator, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, those both do it. I guess rings is cheap. Is no, they're the same cost. Distronic Resonator is two, and then two tap. The rings are three, and then two on trigger. Uh, so no wing slime. I wonder what the boss of this dungeon will be. I wonder if we'll get like a cool slime down there. Ah, there's the hole. Alright, final floor. So the final floor of dungeons have the different music. And then the the next floor will have a boss encounter. So, elf water. Ooh, I actually need some more wings. I think I've, I've been running out of those. How many wings do I have left? One. Ooh, elf water's very strong. Elf. Uh, now my brain is working on Magusi, and I'm... I've got a plan forming for it that involves... Crucible of Worlds... Vesuva... <laughs> oh my god. Uh... Doubling season. <laughs> Alright, into the pit. So... We're in boss zone. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't need. You need something else. Hmm. Hmm. You would need to play a land at. Hmm. Yeah, we've got. We got the guy. We've got Wario. Do you want my friend back? No. Meet. No. Oh, oh, this is an old folk tale. They're gonna reward you for your honesty. Yeah. Well, I, I don't want honor. I just want my my friend back. Give me the Draco Lord. No. Not that old guy. <laughs> Was it this, this golden meat <laughs> or silver meat? Fish of some variety. Say, so, yeah, here we have a digster. <laughs> Did this Satan follow? <laughs> <laughs> or was it. Was it this gold Satan or silver Satan? <laughs> Carl Boss. Yeah, was it Carl Boss? Okay, you need a way. <laughs> yeah, I love this. <laughs> Liam prepares to fight. I may have cursed myself by putting the Mimic on Liam. Oh no, there we go! Liam gets even. Well, Liam will eventually learn another move. Yeah. We can, we can delete the Mimicry if we don't like it. I want to guess there's no move reminder in this game. Nah. Let's heal up the party. Heal us is really strong. <laughs> Ooh, Digster's defending. Okay. Fate transfer with awaken effects with Yeah, yeah but like, that, that doesn't change the counter type. No, it doesn't, but you could move
In response, okay. Importantly, cost is bounce. Is the cost is bounce? Okay, so you can't do it in response. That was the important one. Like I said, the card's pretty well designed to avoid it. <gasps> Dixter! Let's take Dixter. Please name the Dixter. Nope. Mm, it's you know why it's named Ebby. Why is it named Ebby? Because I believe Ebifura is Japanese for shrimp. Ooh. Alright, well. Ebby is here. Let's check out our friend Ebby. Wow. Uh our our our, our friend Ebby here is level forty five. It's quite strong. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it means, uh, every free means fried shrimp. Okay. Mm. Poison, then. Choose a monster to head, send back to the farm. Goodbye! Metal Man. Yeah. He likes tiny metals. This Metal I'm Man, busy. Who, is, who is not me. I need to leave. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll leave the jokes on Digster's movesets to everybody else. Oh, I didn't even... I wasn't paying attention. So I won't even get yeah. to make those jokes. Um... What next? Actually, okay, let's go... You could go back there in the hole looking for slimes. Yeah, I could. I want to check something quick here. Liam, does this work? I just need to double check that this works. God, Rex. Yes, I could. So I can I can turn I have left myself a way to turn spot slime into king slime if I wanted. Oh, I, I, is Rex a king? Yes. Uh, the, the battle Rex is a king. Counts as a king type monster. That, That's interesting. What we need? I thought Rex was just a warlord. Hmm. That just kind of look like Rex. A little bit. Alright, let me... First thing I need is... Uh... Do we I need a gulpal. Yeah, we need a gulpal. Uh, well, one of the things I need is I need the Iceman, the other side of this. Ah. Uh, how uh, does one obtain the Iceman? Th that's a problem. There's no quick way. Um... Okay, I think I need to use tree plus... Oh, heck. Ah, oh, heck, do I not have a way to get to a... I got mats. I need bug. Okay, so I want to go wisp with... I mean, I could just go catch a gulpal. Hey, okay, I could go monster hunting. Yeah... Alternately, let me check what Chris can become. It's just a dragon kid. I don't need a dragon kid. Um... Now, let's go catch a, ourselves a gulpal, I think. I think there Let's were pack. wild gulpals. We just need to find where they were. Uh, yeah, but they were definitely... They were all over the place in the place they were. Right, it's just we have to remember to find which one it was. <laughs> yeah, that was a while ago. I know. I'm gonna go, like, three back. 
Like, that's gonna be my plan. So, like, we have all of these open. No, I'm gonna go with the far left one here and guess that that's Gulpals. And worst case, I just find myself a plant, and then we make a... Uh, I have looked up the answer. I don't know what gate you went into, though. Oh, uh, what, what gates should we be in? It is the gate of joy. Shit, it's either joy or wisdom I'm in. Mm. Well, when we fight monsters, I'll be able to tell. Do not believe it is this one. Crap. Alright, that's fine. Let us switch sides. Yeah, wish. Then. Yeah, because Wisdom has the floor of J. Alright, that's fine. This is, this is a really easy fix. I got a free warp wing in the last area. Alright, so we want. Get out. So we want joy? I believe so. Alright. If this... Woodus.com is to be trusted. Which lists the... Which lists the monsters as Snaily, Gulpal, Sacker, Mad Pecker, Dark Eye, Babble, and Mummy. Yeah, that sounds decent. Wisdom has Facer, Tungella, Florin J, Terranod, and. What is this, what is this room? What is this room? Um, hell? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> like, like. <laughs> you have elected the way of. Pain. Yeah, I'm, I'm just I'm just gonna use this item that lets me teleport. Get out of here. I'm not taking 200 damage to leave. Snaily. Oh, there's Snaily. Snaily's happy. And I believe uh, dead soon. Ooh. The interrupt. That was good. So the 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 mimic move imitate is like when you get hit, you you mimic the move back at them. And uh, what that means is that you like if you get hit in the middle of a thing, you interrupt and get the hit back right then. Oh. It's pretty nifty. But you can stop all hits from killing yeah. the whole party. I mean, if you kill them, yeah, damage stops occurring. Hey, Gopal. Where are you at? Not here. This is Bad Pecker. Alright, let's go down a hole. <laughs> so we want a Lady Gopal. might go down another floor if we don't see him here. Yeah. So the encounters are floor-based, but they're, like, on a range. So what it, the way it works is that, like, floors, like, 1 through 4 are eight from a set. Floors th 5 through 8 are from a set, and then so on. Mm-hmm. Um, they can overlap a little, though, I think, right? I don't know for certain on that one. I just know that, like... The and like one through four is just numbers, it's just the first like X floors. There we go. Oh, there's the couple. All right, so we want to beat up on Sacker. Must annihilate the Sacker. Now we're looking for a lady couple. Will we accept a male couple just for the future? Uh, the problem is once you have one couple, couple two is a lot harder to get. Getting a mm. duplicate of a monster is much harder than getting the first. Well, let's see. Nope, not this mm, yeah, time. and this might be a bit of a... This might be a bit of trouble, too. Mostly because I have it dead in one, so there's no way I'm not, like, knocking it out immediately.
Could mean we come back with squad we need to level up to 10 anyways. Yeah. No, it's Snaily. Goodbye, Snaily. Lived as it died. <laughs> immediately. So yeah, we know that this floor has Gulpal, so I'm not gonna jump down. So yeah, Gulpal is the key to every single breeding chain in the game. All of them. Not some, all. Like, Andriel as a monster sp is like, just is used in every recipe. So Gulpal being the easiest way to get Andriel is the most important monster in the game. Very, very, very apple flavored, apple yeah. cola monster. Yeah. The, what it is, is that Andriel is a one-to-one -one substitution in, a, in recipes for a uh, great Drake, which is this like really late dragon that you can get. Um, but Andriel, so the game treats it as though it's a really late game dragon to get things, but Andriel is not. Hey, Lucy, we are catching apples. Yeah, we're bobbing for apples. Give me that gulp. No. Oh, it is. Give me the gulpal. Murder the apple. Okay, how about this? We'll, we'll wait until I get in a fight, then I've got a plan. Is it a save state? No. Okay. Okay, well. First, he's beating me. Could you tell everyone to defend for multiple rounds? Or, like, the, ask them to defend? That is the idea. The problem is that you can't fully give orders and use an item. Yeah, it's like, you'll just have to say, fight defensively, and hopefully they'll defend for an extra round so we can throw another rib. <laughs> right, but Liam hates doing that. Yeah. Liam hates it so much. Okay. So first things first, let's let's kill off the sacker because that's how this works. Sure. So we go in, cautious, cautious, and then we back out, because if I did the third cautious command, we'd be you know passing turn. The hope is that Waluigi's the only one who attacks and then doesn't do lethal. Oh god! Yeah, that's defending, all right. Yeah. Ooh! It lived, though. These apples have gotten tougher. Yeah. Tough apples. The apples desire your meat. No! They are just... Oh, they didn't even care. They don't, give her, they don't give a crap. Uh... I want the gulpal, damn it. I could make a gulpal, but I don't want to. It would be better not to, if we could just get one. Right, well it would bypass, like, a breed and then also a leveling. And then we go back into meats. Oh crap, I'm down to just pork chops. Alright, I need to go buy more meat. I gotta go back to the butcher. Alright. And maybe we put Lotto away? Yeah. I could, like, just bring Waluigi. Yeah, so, Waluigi wouldn't have a hard time with the fights on his own, but would also probably not kill the gulpal by itself. Alright. 
What part of setting your shit on fire is cautious? Th th that part is that uh, Lodo, her her um, nature is reckless, uh, meaning that she will favor uh, offense, even if told to play defense. Um, Liam at ordinary, I think, is literally just like will just go across, like uh, like whatever you tell tell him to do. Really good. I want a warp wing because we need one of those to leave. And the shop over here, I think, has rib. Yep. Okay, you want moon herb? You can have moon herb. You want some laurels? They'll add aroma to your soup. Yes. You can also have Herb, the useless piece of garbage. Oh, I got two of them? Yeah, the guy gave you another Herb when you came in, because uh, he had space. Right. Oh, seven Rib. Thank you. Someday I'll give you a monster. Ooh! Okay, yep, they're just selling sirloins. Shit. We're finally there. The yeah. Does uh, Gulpul rate sirloins, though? Yeah. So it's taste to speak the world. You can call monsters to you using a shiny harp. Alright, well, oh you have enough money that I'm willing to just like eat the Here. loss. Yeah. So, I'm gonna need, I guess I need cash to be able to enter S rank, you need 10 grand for it, and I just spent 10 grand, so... Ah, uh, we can, we can find liquidity elsewhere. Hopefully. Okay. Yeah. That guy even tells you a third store has opened. Well, that's nice. Alright. Back to Gulpals. After we drop off some monsters. So we're gonna go drop off... Uh... Yeah, Lodo... And Liam... And we just have this bird with us. We just have the rain bird. Yep. Someday this rain bird will learn its move. Rain bird has one of its own almost unique moves. Uh, it's not actually unique because there is another monster in the game who does learn mega magic. Uh, but you'll never have a slime learn it. That's just a lie. Mm. It's not a, like it, it's real. All right. Does the shiny harp? Ooh, does the shiny harp work, or like does it? Does it have a break chance? Um, I think it just works. Well, that's a good thing to have around. Hmm. Ah, oh, shit. It'll be great, we'll just catch this gulpal and then be done with it. Yeah. Command attack. Ooh! Yes, please. There we go. So sack her down. So now, sirloin for foe. Ah! <laughs> Damn it! 
damn it! <sighs> it was going so well. Yeah, but then you, you hit nicely. Mm, did an excellent move, and then was dead. Snaily, one down. No! Snaily, two. Put me to sleep after I hit the Snaily. Yeah. Or maybe, okay, maybe we should do Cautious before throwing the meat. Ye after we kill the Snaily. Yeah. Okay. So plan Cautious. Hopefully that goes to heal more. Yeah. And then... Hey! He falls asleep. All yeah, right. that was about perfect. I'm going to accept any gulpal. Okay, three ought to be well enough. Although... Hey, there we go. Hey, hey. even the female one. Alright. Cannot take any more monsters, so we have to send somebody away. Alright, who's getting sent home? Who is her... Maybe three, five? That's just a snaily, right? Yeah, or like bubble... Kind of want to get rid of Bubble. I like Babble. They're really happy. And they know Poison, but... I'm gonna send them home. Opal! The Tough Apple. The Tapple. Yes. Okay, so for 3,000, or uh, over, over 3,000 uh, guilders, you yeah. obtained the, the gulpal. Yep. And is this gulpal high enough level? 17, yeah, okay. So then it's... Immediately into the breed hole. Yeah, <laughs> we're leaving. Well, glad to have accepted you on the team, Tulpul. It's uh, now time for you to do your good in the world and then go for your honeymoon. Yep. That's what the monsters do. They get married. Who do you want to marry, Gulpul? Right. Too bad you don't get to you, get, you don't get to decide. All right. So Chris and Tapple. Yes. Now, I can't immediately hatch this egg, because I need to check, like, what yep. I need on the Andreal. Ah. Okay. It's messed up that monsters r get married, but abandon their eggs. So, where is... Not Cowl. Where are you at? There. May okay, so we need another lady. <laughs> Tapple's the first one I've ever seen. Yeah, most expensive apple. So you're just characterizing a ditto in an unhelpful way. <laughs> ditto has more meaning in their life than being, being the all-father. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, tell me about Egg. Healthy, took a lot from it, some time to grow up. Perfect. Yeah, she did. <laughs> After eating three be meat on the bones. Like, you know, 
Uh, you gotta die. <laughs> you gotta <laughs> really <laughs> take him out to dinner, you know? <laughs> Alright. Okay. And you hatched the egg. You hatched the egg where they were conceived. Alright, we have to name our, our new friend. Because it can't be Adney. We already had Adney. It cannot here. be Adney. So who's our, who, uh, who's our friend? Who's the friend? I'm trying to think of a thing. What is... Y N D R is the indoor. Andy likes NetHack a lot. <laughs> That's the NetHack place. If you're looking for the amulet of Yindor. Yinder. All right. The Yinder. <laughs> I have to say, there's some good names in the chat. Thank you all for your very good names. Yes. Create the ultimate monster. We'll try. We're, all, we're well on our way. Damn it, I am trying. I'm putting a lot of effort into creating the ultimate monster. My parents were powerful, therefore I will live a long and healthy life. To level 59. Oh, actually, hold on. Do you have anything in the box? Nope. Nope. That's just garbage. Just garbage. You think Pokemon games stopped putting items in garbage to try to keep kids from rolling around in the garbage? Because in red and in, in red blue, there were a ton of items in garbage cans. Earthbound, and you could even so look at hamburgers a, in the garbage. Yeah, lots of hamburgers, and you could look into the one where someone had threw up, and. A, a gym leader hid switches in them that were stochastic. They were either there or they weren't, and yet they were always. Yeah. Uh, and then from there on out, I don't think there's any items in garbage cans. I thought Leftovers was the only one that was in garbage. Yeah, I think Leftovers is, but that's only in uh, Gold Silver. I don't even think it's that way in... Oh, is it not that way in like later ones, even? I don't even know if it's that way in Heart Gold, Soul Silver. Oh my god. I don't know if that's the case or not. I don't remember, but... Alright, what... They don't want you looking at garbage. It's unhealthy, kids. Stay away from garbage. What dungeon do I want to do? I need to bring people somewhere. Well, yes, of course. Well, yeah, yeah. not in Gen 1, but... <laughs> it had, like, what? great balls, though. Like in the, I'm pretty sure that was in the SSN in the restaurant, in like the kitchen area. You could get a great ball in a garbage can. I just remember hamburgers that you could get in gar garbage in Earthbound. What well, Earthbound loved getting the hamburger garbage. They were freakins who made that game. Hey, Gopal's back. We just randomly get a gulpal. Oh no, Snack is not listening to me. This might have been a poor idea. I'm bringing two unleveled monsters. Well, Snack isn't like unleveled. Oh my god. Oh, but bringing Yindor against level 17 monsters. Yeah. Especially without Lotto around. Yeah, like to one-shot these. That'll... After a few encounters, that'll lessen up. It'll yeah. be rough, though. I'm sure. I just gotta... Urban. Okay. Yeah, plus eight... Two to three plus to nine, four. Plus five. Five. Six. Six. 
So the reason I brought Sneck through yeah. is because Sneck was leveling in, uh, basically leveling in daycare, and you don't learn moves. Yeah, you need to get the moves. Man, it was funny. For a second there, it looked like Sneck had learned to unionize. Yeah, yeah our Sneck knows how to unionize, which protects all your al turns all allies into a protective lump of iron. Yeah. That's what unionization does. <laughs> yes, it is very... Yeah, Magic Back is is, is real, if you get yeah, hit magic by back that. Is... Yeah, Magic Back is pretty cool. Oh, I got Poison Hit. Um... Okay, I want... Heal more. We need to heal up. Uh, Gindor. So we don't need to actually level too terribly much on Yndor, but I should at least give them, like, a decent level for, like, stats, again, for the what they'll breed into. Yeah. More Gopals. Hey, Poison. Yes. I love poison. We all like poison too much. It's stupid. A little bit. Slowly making progress in fights. Andrea levels really quickly is one of its strengths. Oh, look at the, that hole. The hole's sort of like the wrong color because the... The, the tile set. Yeah. yeah. There's like tile set color restrictions. And it's so using incorrect hole. Yep, it's like um, that, 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 that's a pretty normal thing. It's okay to be the wrong hole. No one's gonna judge you for that. Illusion. <laughs> Game Boy Color. Yep. There's the last illusion. Oh no, Sneck is... Okay, poof. Okay, we're, we're cool. Sneck's not paying attention. Yeah, I can't tell Sneck to do anything, because Sneck won't listen to me. It's a side effect of being... One? Wow. The perfect huh? hit. Was it 69? No, it was one. Oh, <laughs> Oh, but killed him from one. Okay. Yeah. Guts. We call that the one inch punch. Oh, shit. Didn't All right. bring another warp whistle. Yeah, it means we have to actually dive. How deep is this? 13? All right, let's go. Let's rock it, kids. Yeah, I usually buy like three of those, but I. Burned all my inventory space for sirloins to make sure that I would be able to catch the gulpal. All right, int seed can go to uh... somebody. Yeah. Crap. All right, we gotta dive. Oh, oh, that should be fine. Hey. Let us murder you. Got we got a Phoenix, we got the Shadow Monster, and we've got Captain Ginyu. I'm thinking if I want to steal any of those. I don't could think just throw, could just throw a sirloin and see what happens, or I don't know which one you would want. Yeah, that's the thing. Like if that was Blizzardy, I'd actually be a little bit more interested, but it's not. It's Phoenix. We already had a phoenix stolen.
Is th does this game have an end goal, or do you just make monsters the bigger numbers? There is a lip service to a goal. You are, like, trying to enter the Starry Night Tournament, which you have to become an S-Class Monster Master to do so, which involves going through dungeons, getting more powerful, going into the, uh... Going to the, to fight S class and then like you know so on. That that's the game. So yes and no. Two yeah. has much more of a plot. Yeah, two has plot dungeons in the sense that they're like actual dungeons too. And like you're you're going there to like I remember the first one is like I think this town in the desert doesn't have water because of a monster in a dungeon and you have to go beat them up. Or something like that. Maybe it's just food. Alright, I want Waluigi on offense, because that's the most powerful thing I've got. Okay, these aren't very strong. I'll take it, though. God! Those levels are nice. Nap attack. The nap attack. I get those, too. Uh, warp oh! Oh, and a Mystic Nut. You could just leave if you want. I can leave. Well, I don't want to leave yet. Because the goal in here is to get, uh... Yeah. Get, you know, level 10. Well, that was nice. <laughs> Convenient. Yeah. Weird. Sometimes that's just how the world works. Barring all our other options, sometimes things just work out okay. Yep. Alright, but yeah, we need level 10. Ooh. Rib. <laughs> Call Ooh. shots, baby. Okay, 2C. Oh, Mystic Nut. Those are so fine. Yeah, so we got like two Mystic Nuts and. for our, for our troubles. I was searching for these for like two hours, like, a, like when I was training up Spot Slime, because yeah. in order to learn, in order to learn moves, there's like an MP threshold and a int threshold, and like certain monsters have just such garbage. Uh, yeah, they just won't learn things. Yeah. But my goal with this game is to continue showing off bigger and bigger monsters. Because... Ooh. Another Wandering Master. Because I really love this game. It's great. It's, it's, it's a good video game. It's where you, just, you fight, become stronger, so you can fight more. Yeah. It's, uh... It's Pokemon. Except for with these Dragon Warrior monsters. Because that's the title. It's weird how when you deal damage, the enemies take damage. Couple takes. But when you take damage, you receive it. Ooh. It's the give and take. Yes, yeah, the Waluigi receives the damage, but the Gulpal takes it. <laughs> it's the difference between being polite and being impolite. Oh, Phoenix is back. Oh, sweet. Oh! God, Radiant, which is just... Blinded. It's Flash. That plant with the eyeball is really weird. Yeah, I don't like it. It's, uh, it's, it's hateful. The amber weed. What does Illusion do? Uh, I think it's mischance on physicals. Huh. This next still won't listen. We're also- oh god, I'm also on mischance on physicals because of Radiant. Yeah, so we're, we're- you've got the flash battle. You're doing the flash dance. <sighs> Alright. Okay, murdered. Alright, I'm not gonna leave immediately because I want to get a level or two more on- on these. Because the levels that, uh, 
uh, Indoor's getting are pretty goddamn good. I'd rather good. And, like, those stats do carry down, so I want to get, like, a little bit more going. Just a powerful monster. Well, this is a monster that's going to be breeding into one of our party members. Yeah, so you kind of want him to be good. So I don't want to just, like, hand crap off into our party members, you know? But yeah, not too much. I don't want to, like, spend a whole bunch of time down here. At least we made some money back. Yeah, I, I need to make more of that back. I need 10 grand before the, 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 the S, S rank. I can't do S rank without 10 grand. So, at some point I might just have to, like, buy and sell things. Max level both monsters. Mm, I don't have that. I don't... Nah. Too rich for my blood there. There's a difference between ultimate power and final power. In that one of them is the yeah. threshold of what you need to be ultimate, and the other one is the absolute threshold. Yeah. We merely seek ultimate power, not final power. Yeah. I spent a lot of time... figuring out what ultimate power in this game looked like. I never created Dark Dream. Because mm. the path to Dark Dream takes forever. It, it's just the slowest thing in the universe. So, like, I never I never decided, like, I was like, that effort sucks and I don't want it. Alright, let's go, let's go use the Warp Wing and immediately go buy a new Warp Wing. I gotta get rid of an herb first. Yeah. Uh, that's Tiny Metal Zone. I want one more down. Well, I don't think a Digimon means anything, which is how that can ha how that can work. Hmm. Alright, uh, Warp Wings are from you? Or is that the next shop over? Yeah, it's you. So, we don't need Herb. Is Digimon the Yu-Gi-Oh of Pokemon? Yes. Whatever that sentence means, yes. Yes! Yes! Too easy! No, I like Digimon. It's just very... very thing. <laughs> There's lots of... Okay, my introduction to Digimon came in two forms. One of them was a uh, cartoon on Fox. Because a lot of people watch that. And then the other one was Digimon World for the PS1, which uh, is a very fun video game that has lots of stuff in it. I played Digimon World 2 a lot and liked that one. Uh... They're, both, they're both fun games, but Digimon World, uh, in order to fully LP it, one of the LPers, I think it was Orange Fluffy Sheep, had to like work with a programmer to disassemble the game to learn how to do certain breeding chains. Oh, wow. That's... Because like, nobody knew. Ooh! Yes! Here we go. Yeah, the... the uh, it's, it's, it's one of those long-running series that continues to this day, and I have a lot of respect for that. Yeah. You stay wild, Digimon. All right. So we've made a new monster. Yes, yeah, Cyber Sleuth. All right, we can't hatch this one yet because we need to know. We need to know. So, we got the Orochi. So I need to check Soth. Now, Soth has been with us for 16,000 years. And we got Soth very quickly early because of it's the Wind Dragon. Yeah. Now, Soth was a lady, right? 
Yes. Okay. I forget. I literally look, I remember it, <laughs> yes. and then forget. I, I do this every time. Yeah. It's impossible. Yep. 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 Yes. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. Man, we've been lucky into that so much. <laughs> yeah. So the swap, the blessing is like... It, the higher the plus, the more expensive the blessing is. Mm. So that gets really, like... That can get a little expensive as you go. Alright, so we want Orochi. That sprite. <laughs> the other sprite will be great, though. I love this sprite, because it's just like a bunch of little heads. It looks like you can see the little tongue. It looks... Yeah, you can see the little tongue, kind of. Yeah, that's what it looks like, is a little tongue. Like, wow. It looks like a, a Mayan drawing. Or, uh, yeah. So what do we name this snake? Um... I got a name. with Quinn. To Quinn. Yes, we can take Quinn with. I realize its name is Orochi, but you can see it has five, it, there's there's the little five it, heads that you can see. So. To quintuple your fun. Yeah. So. Funnily enough, does not look at anything like a snake. Which I think Orochi was in Legend, but it's fine. Being a cool dragon is better. So we get fu so we we have uh, Orochi. Let's go learn about Orochi. This is gonna be a new uh, monster. We're not gonna have Orochi around for too terribly long, but I am going to level up Orochi a real amount rather than a fake amount, like I did. Uh, oh, that's just not it. At some point, I'll get this little gate, but not yet. Orochi kind of looks like that dragon from that live-action cartoon movie Ooh. where like the invisible dragon I don't even remember what that's called it's five heads can do different things at the same time mostly knows fire stuff it's most important skill is actually by attack uh -huh. uh, if, if I'm remembering my moves correctly that's the one that levels up into quad hit Quad hit. And quad hit uh, is one of your better physical attackers. <laughs> Rochi appearing in any other games you're streaming these days. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow's when uh, Okami's starting back up. I swear it. We had we had some scheduling things, but little Pete's Dragon is that what you're thinking of? Yeah, Pete's Dragon. What was okay. I was thinking of? Okay. Oh no, I don't want the. I don't want to go in the hole. I don't want the hole. No hole. Noel. Noel. Alright. I do want to pick up another monster, because, like, just uh, the Rainock here that wasn't quick enough for, for killing. So... Yeah, here we want... Um, I'm gonna... it... Let's bring out the slime. Yeah, let's bring out the slime. Alright, and then... Pretty average stats. Plus five, though. Um, let's go in a deeper hole. I wonder how deep of a hole I can go in. I am absolutely... N what, did you pick up a warp wing? I think I, we did. E I should have two. Yeah. Okay, we have two. That's yeah, nice I'm, I'm not surprised. My my first two thoughts upon hearing the, the statement, I never saw the new one, but liked the old one of Pete's Dragon, was in the succession... Wait, they made a new one? Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> Death and jump like, oh, they just, they had the rights to it, so they made it, huh? Okay. Uh, let's go left. Left? Left. Challenging him right away. No, 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 we will. 
We will, I mean, first things first, I need to, to use these Mystic Nuts. Because uh, we actually do need, for that for that Wandering Master, you get two items after a victory and you need the slots open. Yeah, but to whom? To I'm Quinn? Gonna, I'm going to go to Quinn and in, in case Quinn has crappy uh, MP growth, that'll help. All right, we do want a random battle first. You're, you're correct. Just to get, like, five levels on Quinn. Ooh. It's, it's Stealth Snake. Shows up everywhere. Right. I'm gonna literally tell you to defend. Like, Quinn, I... I, I... I need Quinn to live through this one fight so that the Tremilgons and the, the others can, you know, give Quinn, like, six levels. God. Yep. Yep. Okay. And here we yeah. go. Group two. Ooh, those are good yeah, levels. The yeah, Peach Dragon was from the 60s, yeah, I think. Remember? So they they did wait a long time, but it's like, hey, what's what what can we dig up? What we got? What corpses are in the bag? But Quinn's got lots of levels. Is what Quinn's got. I saw. I I I have. I guess I didn't see. I heard mention that there was going to be like a live action Winnie the Pooh, and thought that same thing. I don't know what it actually looks like, but I, you know, sure. All right, Quinn's got levels. Now we we can fight now. Damn it! Peach Dragon Cinematic Universe. You're like a dizzying person <laughs> on a cliff. Are you going to kill right. me? Are you going to kill me? Like, what, is that a threat? Skeleton. Is that a threat? Well, yeah, I, th I think that is a threat because they immediately fight you. Yeah. What are you nervous? You're not Alexander. Hurting my skeleton will make you famous. <laughs> okay, Quinn's worst like levels are agility and int. Everything else seems good. Also, Quinn's leveling real fast, which is nice. Ooh! Slime level. A good slime level. <laughs> A Not bad, bad meat. meat. Oh my god. I'll take the warpling, though. That's real. Yeah. What a bad meat do? Poison. I like poison. It's, it's poison meat. I know you meat. do too. It's poison meat. Please do not eat the poison meat. But I... It says tames monsters. Yeah, I know, right? It's the... It's, it's, it's good. That's a good thing. You give it to your... You give it to your foes. Tame foes with antipode. Because I know you like poison. Because of hypnotoxic laser. <laughs> card's really strong, damn it. Yeah, it is. Sad that all the poison cards in Magic are either bad or stupid. Often uh, both. Oh, yeah. Well, with well, the thing is, poison's not an easy thing to, like, flavor in Magic, because Infect like is kind of... It's like, it's either Infect or Death Touch. I like Death Touch more. That's my favorite, but... Then but again, the, the poison cards that are, like, vile of poison. Isn't that more... Venom, then? If we're talking, like, Death Touch? I guess so, yeah. Most... most poisons aren't contact poisons. Well, oh my god, we can't... I can't... Either. I can't reach the Cacta Ball! Cannot reach the Cacta Ball! <laughs> it flew up in the air. I like Cacta Ball, it's a pretty good enemy. Cacta Ball's a pretty good one. <laughs> so mosquitoes. You you can keep your laurels. You get to rest on it. <gasps> oh! Oh, uh, that's another item, Wandering Master. We need to throw away... I have so many world dues. I only need to throw away one thing. <laughs> Come on! Man, these 
these phoenixes just keep showing up. Yep. Well, it looks like we're going to be trying to tempt a skeleton. I'm only willing to throw the one, and that's b mostly because I need the two spots open in my inventory. Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> By chance, recalls paralyzed from his memory. Huh. There's a thing that can happen. Um, okay, what do I want to keep? I don't think I want poison gas. Um. Oh. Wait, I also don't want sleep all. And I also don't want stop spell. <laughs> oh. <laughs> stealing your skeleton? I'm stealing your skeleton. <laughs> oh, I'm happy to steal a skeleton. Thank you. I mean, there's only one thing you could name this thing. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back, David. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Level 20 skeleton. A rebel. Mm. Has his dance shut. Oh, the dance shut. Alright. Alright, Dave. We'll catch you later. Report, Report to duty, Dave, at home. <laughs> Give me your stuff. Or playing and a re oh sweet replacement rib. Yeah, just gave you the rib back from the skeleton. Thank you. Because the skeleton ate the rib, yeah. but it just fell through its body because it's a skeleton. It's a ske yeah, right. Like it's just a skeleton. These have been pretty good floors. Like I like finding finding wandering masters. Yeah, lots of finding, lot of finding those a lot. I guess uh, for the benefit of some viewers who may not know, mm -hmm. a friend of the show, my name is Kaz. Did a very good uh, let's play mm -hmm. of Diablo 2 without clicking on monsters using the Necromancer and named all of the skeletons Dave. It was very good. And henceforth, skeletons are just Dave. And now skeletons are Dave. I don't know if we call skeletal mages as much as Zohar, but they come up fewer, like less than yeah. skeleton does. It's there. It's, it's in memory. Oh, I'm thinking about Larry the Dutiful Thrall now. Because Larry was both... Yeah, Larry the Dutiful <laughs> Thrall was a very good one. God, that's so much experience from these fights. The Great Dave Offensive is also, like, an incredible name. It's a rather good name for it. Ooh, um, I don't think I care about Branching. So that's, like, Branching is the name of Plant Hit. Mm. Ooh, okay. Uh, my exploration is paid off by a seed. Um... Just destroy a rib. Yeah, destroy a rib. I think at some point I could I should stop holding on to uh, world dues. Like at some point I have six of them I don't need more, even though they yeah. are like the elixir, you know, they're mega elixir actually. They're, <laughs> what do they sell for? That's what I'm going to do with them. <laughs> sell them. <laughs> they sell I think seven fifty? Question mark face. Ooh, rock slime. Hey, rock slime. Rock slime. This must be where you can actually level monsters like Lodo. Yes. We are finally in the part of the game where the game, like, reasonably would... is giving you experience enough to use monsters like Waluigi or Lodo. Basically, we're in a part of the game where we're expect... where we're... where it's not punished for using Gulpal Chain. Because <laughs> yeah. before then, we're going out of depth, really. Well, the thing is, uh, one of the monsters that I got recently was Servant. And Servant was one half of, uh... Lodo in the first place. So, like, by what we have in the game, we could have very easily made uh, Lodo just through that, you know? Just uh, just now, instead of a while ago. Right. It would have been a lot easier now, because I wouldn't have had to dumb, do that dumb thing where I created the, the King of the Whites, 
you know, the 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 the, the, the Lich King, as it were. Ooh, a sirloin. Destroy a rib. Upgrade. Yeah. But yeah, and, and like, and that one took forever to level two. That was Wapple, I think. Was that Wapple? Was Wapple? I think that might have been Wapple. I have to remember my monsters. It's Gizmo. It's Cracko. Yeah, Gizmo's neat. I would not dislike having a Gizmo, because I think I could trade it in to get into a new dungeon. Because I think it knows a, a, a breath attack that would get me into the fire dungeon that I need to get. So that might be worth picking up at some point. You had resolved not to play Final Fantasy XIII too, right? No, that had not happened. I had not said that I was not playing it. Mere mm -hmm. Merely that Luke and I had chosen not to go into it after finishing Final Fantasy XIII. Okay, then my concerns can live. Okay, at some point, I own it, alright? Like... Yeah, I know. It just, that game also has monsters. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is It is a game that I, like, have. I own three as well, actually. I don't know why the hell I own three, but I do. I think they were, they were, I think you got gifted them when yeah. they were all on sale in, like, a bundle. Yeah, but yeah, so... At some point, yes, I do... Ooh, Fire Slash. Nice. We want to keep looking around for Wandering Masters, because that's always worth doing. I think we'll go through this dungeon, and then that'll be our, our stream for today. Ah. Yikes! Paralyze! Nasty. Yeah. I don't have a good answer to that. Yeah, I just don't have a good answer to that. Hmm. The cacti ball bounces again. Oh my god. Why does this ball fly? No. Hit it. Okay, cacti ball's knocked out. 14. It's good. This level that level wasn't as good. Now, uh, a lot of health though. 154 at level at, th at that level is pretty strong. How deep is this? God, this okay. This dungeon is 22. We might just not do this dungeon with the party we have, like to completion. That is. I just pick a number for where we want to stop on Quinn. 20. And we shall descend and Ian defeat the tail eater. Oh, thank God! Oh. Uh, 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 Paralyze is not a status effect that carries over between fights. Oh yeah. my goodness. Oof. This poison is, is, though. Poison is, but I specifically have a... Uh, oh no, did I get rid of Antidote? Oops. Alright, goodbye. Luckily, it's it's not happening fast enough to just murder the encode. Throws a huge rock. Oh, uh, good old rock slime. The slime is very powerful. That's why it can screw the rock. Yes. It also is the rock. Does it throw itself? It doesn't look huge. No. Let's throw other rocks. Maybe we'll just run into a priest. That'd be nice. Fall into a hole. That's where the priest lives, right? In a hole? I think everybody lives in a hole in this world. Even we. Mm. Our home is a hole. A Dark Souls story. <laughs> oh my god. Our home is full of acid. Okay, I'm liking having... <laughs> I'm liking having the, like... Status hits. Those are nice to have on Quinn. They're very, uh... 
that they're very like the fact that they're incidental on all, already getting hits in are nice. Yeah, it's you're just not like spending the resources to get nothing. Right, it's basic attack, but you're you're getting something out of basic attack other than just damage. I'm gonna check up before we go in holes just in case. Eh. I can't leave that unchecked. Who knows? Maybe there's a chance I just find a wizard and then like. Yeah, the wizard. The wizard waves its wand. And then we're on floor 22, and it's just boss fight time. I might have problems with that. But yeah, this this current situation, I believe so. Like, Liam would be able to keep people alive for a while. Um, Liam's problem of being... Also, everybody's poisoned. Liam, but we'd probably just be able to throw the boss into status hell. Yeah. Okay, Liam's problem is what? MP. Oh, yeah, right. Yes. The we'll run out of MP. Ooh, snowstorm. And squall hit. And cover his guardian. Learned iron eyes. Oh, union eyes. Okay. I don't think we need to union eyes here. Nah, Quinn's a scab. Yeah, I think Quinn is definitely a scab, sadly. Unhappy about this, but... No being a lump of unionized iron for you. I don't like that move. <laughs> Are the chameleons a dragon or a beast? I believe they're dragon. Being a dinosaur and being a dragon are basically the same thing in, yeah. in Dragon Warrior World. Well, again, this this game does not have all the the groups that like the you know Dragon Warrior Monsters Two has like Aqua as a group, yeah, and things like that. So like, they kind of have to finagle it. It's being like the the closest neighbor. Yeah, like the crab that's not water type. Yeah, it's, yeah, because it's, it's not Chameleon, it's Chameleon. Chameleon gone. Chameleon gone. Okay, well, Luigi doesn't have health. That's a problem. And the the, the bird is rather f is f tilted forward. Yep. Bit of an issue. All right. How, how dead am I? That scares the hell out of me. That thing defeat pop out? Yeah. Charge, charge, command, skill, stop spell. Screw off. Mm. <laughs> Spits the blaze air. Get poisoned and paralyzed and stopped. Everybody's poisoned. Okay, I think this should keep us safe against the Mimic. Crush it! Okay, good. That's a lot of experience, at least. But yeah, seeing nice. defeat thrown out scares the hell out of me. Like, just flat. It's like, oh boy. Um... Ooh. That's nice. Um... We'll walk it. They're two damage tiles. Yeah, we're... This sucks. But you don't like damages. Damn it! Encounter on the last tile. <laughs> Whatever. So yeah, see how Liam has 13 MP left? That's our problem. Yeah. Quinn is basically out, too. Yeah. Maybe that's our actual restriction here, is why I can't stay too long in this dungeon. I'm just gonna be out of... like, moves. I can have Waluigi heal as well. Waluigi yeah. has to heal more, which is enough. Okay. 
Okay. That stupid ball in the air. Well, it knows you're poisoned. So it wants to delay so you're poisoned longer. Yeah. Dungeon of damage. <laughs> I like how I took damage on the tile. No. Wait a minute. I did not sell all the mana restoring items. I still have uh, a uh, the full restore, but I don't want to use it. No, we want to sell it. We're just holding some money in our body. Yeah. Alright, I should likely just leave after, like, another level on Quinn. This poison is killer. Alright, how much is one more level on Quinn? Two fights? Sounds reasonable. I should be able to do two fights. Let's... Put Liam to actual full health. Okay. Maybe we can find a Wandering well, Master. Who knows? You know it would probably get you that level? If that was a Mimic? If that was a Mimic? Yeah. Could also have you killed, <laughs> which it which would solve one of our problems. It would solve our problem of being in the dungeon. It would. It was also empty my goddamn inventory because when you take a death, you lose all your items. Yeah, it would. It would. An, uh, an ideal, I would admit. <laughs> which I'd rather avoid if possible. Yeah, I think what I will do to finish up the stream is that we will we will take off, and we will do one last breeding uh, for uh, Quinn. Quinn will leave us for a while, and we will get a new uh, monster to finish things off. More monsters. Which that's that's always what this is is just building more. You're being born ceaselessly into the future by monsters. I'm glad you have an encounter button. I like that button a lot. <laughs> I use it. I use it pretty often. Uh, okay. We're gonna call that good for 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 this. And then let's go I get a free herb. Yeah, to replace the warp wing, which is great. Yeah. Let's go do some it's sales. Like, like six gold back on your two hundred gold. Yeah. If you want to grind money, you can just do 4-4 four, four dungeons and get 7 bucks back at the end when you get a free herb. It's perfect. Money-making yeah. game. It's what we... It's, it's the money-making game. Six... Yeah, six bucks. Or I could sell, like, three of my world dues. And... Yeah. I don't need those. What does Elf Water do? Elf Water is a full MP restorer. Mm. For one. Which makes it pretty worthwhile for, like, if I... When I actually do plan on doing the dungeon, which will be next stream, uh, when I have a, a real or party, uh, I'll probably need that on... Sp on, uh, on... On Liam. On Liam. Just because that MP pool isn't deep enough. Never is, really. No. You're casting a spell every round. Okay, the next monster we get, we're going to have to level up pretty heavily, though. So it'll be sticking around for a while. I need... Uh, not Dave. How you doing, Dave? Uh, and then... Crap. Where's Soth? Nope. Wrong way. Gotta start with the Soth. Yeah. 
Well, they're both dragons, so who the pedigree is matters a lot. Seems like a new monster. That's, the way, that's what we want. So Soth, the Sky Dragon, has been with us, and I said we were going to be using it a, a, for an important role later in the game. This is Soth's important role. Have uh, Shinron and Orochi. Yep. So we got a baby. Mary. Divinagon. Yeah. Well, I can't hatch yet. <laughs> I know a good name for the Divinagon. Do you know a good name for the Divinagon? What do you got? It starts with a P. And ends with an E. It has another P in it. It's Pope. That's good. It's, it's the Pope. Let's check. Oh, they went with T. What is the, what is the, what's the Pope? Uh, inherited a lot of skills. Takes some time to grow up. Expect a lot from this little baby. Right, we gotta bless. 400, because it's plus 7. What? Buy something, will you? Alright. Wait, it needs to be male, so what are we breeding it to? That's a good question, ain't it? Okay, it's a we got secrets, everybody. That's yeah. good. I'm sure pe any, like, people familiar with the breeding chain know exactly what this is for. People who don't will we'll get to enjoy uh, the mystery of the, what oh, Divin God is for. The Divin God... It's just Shenron again! It's just Shenron green. What if it was green? Okay, what's a good name for this fool? Not like there's a whole lot of options, yeah. <laughs> um... We could just call him the Pope. Could just be the Pope. Or, uh... Green. <laughs> Because it's big green. I don't know. If... <laughs> I, guess Shinron, I, guess, I guess Shinron does appear in that movie. It's big Goodbye green. forever. Oh, <laughs> Goodbye I, God. forever. I love that. Goodbye forever. Takes off. Yes, Your Majesty. <sighs> Grin. Gree? Yes. Gree? Gree. I'm gonna go with Gree. I never turn your back on a Gree. <laughs> yeah, let's take, let's take Gree with. Alright. So yeah, Gree. The coward. The coward. The, the coward, coward Gree. Gree. <laughs> uh, the assassination <laughs> of Yundor by the coward Gree. <laughs> Alright, let's... Last thing before we finish things off, I'm going to go to the library and we're going to learn about Divin Gone. What's the Hydrophantal Green uh, Arcana Dragon? Is the final dragon actually in the list? Mm, it is Shinron. Now, it knows some important ass moves. Like Big Bang. Yeah. So yeah, Big Bang and Meditate. So, yeah, this is... We'll be leveling up Divin Gone for a while. Also, um... The other reason of why we'll be leveling up Divin Gone for a while... It's a 100. Yep. So, slow to level. Just as slow as Waluigi here. Should be powerful, though. <laughs> So yeah, that will be a lot of fun for next week. Um, I'll have to let you know when Dragon Warrior Monsters is going to be next week. It will either be Tuesday or Wednesday, but it might be Wednesday. It might actually have to move to Wednesday for, like, normal purposes in the future. Mm. Like, what happened was Wednesday was our board game night. Uh, and then circumstances changed, and now Tuesday is our board game night. 
Mm. So, yeah. Anyway. So, yeah. Thank you all for joining. Thank you, Gnome, for joining today. No problem. I hope you all had fun. I'm glad that we got to... We, we, we're slowly building up the chain we're, of new monsters. We're going to be learning Big Bang. It's going to be great. It's like one link at a time, we climb our way forward to power. Yep. But yeah, so we'll be moving up uh, the chain. So yeah, if you want to catch more stuff like this, you can always follow the channel. And this and cards and Okami and all the other things I end up doing. Uh, if you want to support the channel, there's always subscribing. You can get access to cool skulls. Patreon.com slash Slime9 exists as well. Wait, my sub wore out. No! Uh -oh. Wait, I'm going to leave this on the stream. I, shit, I have to go to your page to do this, though. Yeah, you gotta... Uh, well, in the meantime, I can also plug your stuff, which is twitch.tv slash GnomeBitten, where you can get the GnomeBee Yoko's at. And the GnomeBee Yoko. Which is, there like, we go. the best emote. Skull's quite good. Uh, I, I'm not streaming Kingdom Hearts tomorrow, because... Mm. Because Kelsey's a GDC. I have something else planned, though. Mm -hmm. Something weirder. So we'll see how that goes. All right. I'll enjoy. Do you have the skull yet? I have the skull back. Okay. Right. Thank you for the sub. <laughs> <laughs> and the Yoko. All right. Yoko. Have a good night, everybody. Good night.